So the cats want to see if we can take this old crappy computer that has Manjaro on it, with screen burn and all, if I can get Linux Mint onto it from start to finish with Steam installed and playing one game. So let's get to it. Is that the version we want? We want this version because this computer is not good. Uh, now we wait. Okay, got my USB stick. I'm gonna pop that in. Once that's in, this is Pop OS. Gonna wait to hear the click. Open with USB flasher. Next. Yep. Next. And we will return once this is finished. Okay, that's done. So let's uh, eject. Done. Oh. Done. Let's not plug that into the HDMI. All right. Don't even know where the uh, turn off is. All right, let's just see if it loads automatically here. Yeah, computer's been acting funny. I th honestly, I think the cat stepped on the keyboard or laid on it or something. I think one of the keys is like, um, what's the word? Like depressed or something. I can't figure it out. The thing was beeping like crazy. I looked it up and it says a key might be stuck. I've tried to unstick them, but who knows? Let's see what happens. I believe I changed the BIOS this time. So let's see. Yeah, it picked it up. There we go. So yeah, I didn't have to hit, um, whatever, like F12. Okay, one thing I did notice, uh, especially why I stopped this, um, this actually took, uh, I don't know if I fully remember, but I feel like it actually took like two or three times longer to get to this screen than it did when I was doing the Manjaro installation. Just something to note, something I found interesting may not have any effect on like once it's installed but kind of kind of interesting to note let's try to install this now i've seen that though on my like other my older computers and stuff but manjaro did seem a bit snappier i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of really excited to do um endeavor because apparently it doesn't have like any bloat with it but i'm a little intimidated by the terminal because yeah you got to use the terminal to install everything unless i can figure out how to install pamac that's the next one i'm gonna do um endeavor yeah yeah this is considerably slower from what i can see all right let's do this yeah i i, got, I gotta say that this installer is considerably slower than manjaro granted this is like an old computer so i i get that but i gotta give manjaro its due because it was considerably faster than this there we go yeah we gotta do that wow that's super interesting oh, i can't even see erase disk and install yeah yeah like i said i don't use this computer so this is honestly this is just fun for me to learn got a mechanical drive in here it's a pretty crappy computer literally I'm pretty sure the cat may have broke the computer because I had it sitting on here and I just went upstairs to get a drink and I'm pretty sure the cat stepped on it because when I turned it off and off and on the thing was beeping like crazy I could not fix it I was actually gonna film this video last night but everyone was sleeping in the house and the computer wouldn't stop beeping wow it's so slow ah we can do New York today let's do New York just for fun it's getting wiped again anyway let's just see if we can get this I'm a little hesitant about this okay let me put this stuff in and then I'll be back all right that actually took quite a while I actually left for a while and just let it do its thing I had stuff to do but let's give it a restart and see what's going on like I said though I, I still think it is like considerably slower at this point but I'm sure once we boot in it should be fine I wonder if Manjaro had a little glitch even though I could boot into Manjaro at the start of it the computer was just beeping 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 but I thought it was the cat like it depressed one of the keys but I'm, I'm never gonna know I don't know so whatever let's see how long this takes this seems okay so far I don't know if I'm gonna get steam working on this though we'll see again I think it's slower I think I think that it's like slower than Manjaro. There we go. And let me tell you, I'm not the biggest fan of this background. Not a big deal, you can change that. Let's just see if we can get wine and steam installed. And just let me tell you, I don't know if I got the skills. We're gonna find out. Uh, so right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, I don't really know how Linux Mint works that well but I'm going to assume 
that this has like um, a soccer center. So the reason why I kind of knew Manjaro was because I had watched a tutorial and if anybody is watching this who had seen like an old video, I actually had Manjaro on one of my computers because I had watched a tutorial and I was blown away by how easy it was to get games working. So I had Manjaro and Pop! OS on two, whoa. Is that a glitch or is it forcing up? What is this, Windows forcing updates on me or what? All right, try this again. Forgot what I was saying, but let's see if we can find some sort of software center. I'm a little, where the heck would it be? Uh, it's gotta be in here. You should just be able to type it in, right? Soft, software manager, there we go. I guess the point of this is if like you're a new guy, right? And I, I don't wanna say I'm new, cause I'm not new. Like I've been using it. I'm not overly familiar with the terminal, but to be fair, on my Pop! OS, I've had to use the terminal a number of times. So initial impressions, when it's like installed, seems like the software manager is consider, oh, they really want that update, eh? I don't want to do that update. That's kind of shocks me. That's kind of weird. That's kind of a Windows 11 type attitude, but we'll see what's going on here. Wow, this is a little slow, if I'm being honest. I don't want to beat up Linux Mint too much, though. I don't. I, I really don't know a whole lot about it. So let's try this out. Ugh. I feel like... I don't know. I might be wrong, but I feel like when I was using Manjaro, like, this, this stuff was... I don't know. Continue. Put my password. We'll give it a stop for one sec. There it is again with the update. Let's just minus it. Wow, they really want that update. So I'm mainly a user, like 100% like user of Pop! OS. And it does, like it kind of puts like the update thing there on Pop! OS, but it doesn't bug you to the extent that I've already seen in Linux Mint, which is kind of weird to me. But I'm not, I, like I said, I don't want to beat it up too much because I've heard like a lot of good things about Linux Mint. So I don't know, let's just see. So like, to be fair, this hasn't been too bad. Like if this was your choice, I had to wait a little bit and it's a slow computer, but we got into wine pretty easily. So let's just, I was gonna say probably a faster installation of wine, but now it looks like it's starting over again, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm just gonna drink my carbonated water and we're gonna sit here and see what's going on. It can't be too much harder after this. I gotta be honest though, I'm a little shocked. It's considerably slower overall, everything. Everything's been shockingly slower. Granted, this is an old PC. Maybe it wouldn't be as obvious if you had an SSD. That was pretty quick, but let's see. Cause what I think, when you click the launch, yeah, you gotta do the Steam stuff, right? Oh, okay, so this is similar, okay. We'll let this install, and we'll be back. I got pretty fast internet, but we'll come back. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see what's going on here. I'll put the login in. We're gonna install that game. Uh, name slips my mind. Game is similar to Ninja Gaiden 2, but let's try this. Like I said, this ain't, this is no gaming PC, but let's see if we can get a Steam game running. One sec. Got my controller plugged in, just my wireless controller that I bought off Amazon. Game worked like a charm. I, f couple minor critiques, but I'm, I, I honestly, I may have been wrong about this. Oh, this guy's so hard. Um, I feel like it took like a lot longer to load than my Manjaro. I don't know, let me know. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let me know if that's a thing. Um, what else did I notice? Actually, it was just kind of a creepy thing. So when, oh, dead already. Can't show you if I'm dead. Um, oh, not showing there. Probably clicking wrong buttons. In the options, just nothing to do with like Linux or anything like that. It's just, the reason why I want to move to like GOG games and how I got my, pardon me, um, my uh, gigantic 
movie collection that's all offline and my games which you can see up in the pretty games pretty much run from there to there and got a bunch of games here and just why I want to run my offline collection just a very creepy thing is that when I logged into this um, if you watched my other video where I attempted to uh, install Manjaro on this laptop there, I believe I left it in the video, but there was a point where the sound was up. But when I had edited the video in Caden Live in Linux, I, um, you could see me, default, whatever the word is, taking the volume down. Just it remembered it from like online. I find that very creepy. I'm not, I'm really not the biggest fan. Like I said, trying to clear my Steam backlog right now. I got like three or four more games to beat, and then I'm gonna. Not gonna like ultimately get rid of Steam, but it's got me thinking twice. I'm just not the biggest on these online games. It's just, just not for me. But anyways, my ultimate goal for these videos is just, I like to play games. And this wasn't a terrible experience, but if I have to be honest with you, I'm very terrible at this game. And I'm kind of not paying attention because I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm saying. But if I have to be honest with you, in my opinion, Manjaro seemed to be better for speed in all respects. With every installation, with everything. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Have yourself a good day.